Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a stereoscopic GIF, just like the one you just viewed. You may have seen this with Miramasa's new album artwork or with YouTubers because they've been using them a lot recently. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take four photos. You can take more, but I recommend four. And you want to keep the object or the focal point the same approximately and you want to shift the camera so that the background moves just like this and so once you've taken the photos you want to open up a blank Photoshop document and you want to place your photos onto the document just like this you can either drag and drop just like I am or you can place with the Photoshop tool and then number four there we go so now we've got all of our photos just like this on our right side we can see our layers panel and we're going to be making it so that the middle two are blind and so that the outer two are visible and so what you want to do is you want to go to the first photo at the top right here and you want to change the opacity which is just above it and it's at 100 right now but we're going to change it to 40 percent just like this and it kind of looks a bit odd so it looks like she has four eyes right now um, you're going to move it up and you want to match the eyes and you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard as well it helps a lot just to shift it a bit and so you want to match the eyes up and so you want to make it exact just like that and so you're gonna once you're done you're gonna move the opacity back up to 100% like that and you're gonna click the next photo just below it and make it so that photo is visible you're going to change the opacity to 40% again and you're going to move it so that the eyes match up again like that and then change it back to 100 and then for the last time you're going to do the exact same thing opacity to 40% and then for this one you can just use the arrow keys instead of the mouse just because it's so close there we go just try to make it perfect if you can like that and so back to 100% and you just want to make sure that all of them at, are at 100% and so they are so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the window key and you're going to go timeline and just make sure that there's an, a check mark right beside it and I already got mine open so then this thing is gonna pop up on the bottom of Photoshop and you're going to cl click create video timeline and so that, what that does is it takes all of our photos and it makes it into a video. And so right now it'll only show the top image, which is number four right here. But um, what we want to do is we want to create the GIF out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create sort of a stairwell pattern. So we're going to move this photo in. We're just going to drag it to about there. And you're just going to keep scrolling up and then again like that. And it doesn't matter if they're perfectly spaced out, but you you want um, the ends to match up perfectly if possible because that'll make it look a lot smoother. And so you want to go like that and make that one the smallest. So the top's going to be the smallest. That one is going to be the second smallest. And then the last two are going to be the same size. And you want them to be the same size just so that they loop together and so that it looks smooth in the end so that the loop keeps on going forever so it's just going to look like this in the end a stairwell going up and then a stairwell going down two steps and then just flat right there and so once that is done you want to go to this little gear icon right here and you're going to click loop playback if it already isn't enabled and so what that will do it, it is it'll make the GIF go on forever so once you click the play button it'll just keep on looping and looping and looping and so once that is done you can see on the edges like here and even on the edges of our background you can see them so what you want to do is you want to crop the image and so I'm gonna move mine in quite a lot just so that I don't see any of the outside and I don't need the photo to be huge just because there's a lot of background and I want the photo to focus on her so I'm just gonna go like that and then I'm going to click play again and so you can see on the edges that there's 
no other photo visible and you only see the video so it looks like a loop or a video that's taken up and um, cut and sewn but video version um, and so once that is done you can keep making it loop in Premiere just like this and you can keep putting them back and forth and back and forth so that it creates one smooth photo or one smooth gif and you can add music over top of it just like the first one you saw and that is it